refrain from clapping. It's, this is a court, so uh, it's not a pep rally. So this Wait a they might like what I've got to say, too. They might like what I've got to say, too. In that case, we'll give the commissioner equal treatment. Uh, my, com my comments revolve around the issue that I think the, the county actually has, um, has a concern in legally, and that is the county roads. And um, I think it's critically important. And I, I took the time to look at the agenda and the, the descriptions and the agendas for um, McKinney City Council. There's, there's nothing in how they are describing their item, um, their agenda item, that suggests that county roads are, in, in fact, included. In fact, they use a lot of terminal, terminology like along and around county roads, a portion of county road, as far north as the county road. Never once does it say including the county road. So um, in, in addition, Mr. Borland brought up, I think, a, a critical uh, issue as well, which is the prescriptive right of way. How many times that um, you're not even going to have necessarily a, a legal description for a prescriptive right of way. So. Um, I do think it's incumbent on the city to comply with um, that local government code 43.106. And, you know, I hope that we will, at a minimum, ask the, our, um, our attorney to brief our, our DA on these concerns. And going forward, I think we're going to need to take this kind of effort with any annexation in any city because otherwise we're going to continue to get left with orphaned roads that that really belong in cities, and we're going to be um, forced to maintain those when we really shouldn't have to. So um, I think this is a real legitimate concern on how we're going to deal with an um, annexations now and in the future. See, they didn't like what I...